This is Unity and I'm going to walk through how to add a coin or a token or a cheeseburger, whatever you'd like for your 2D reward to be. So first I'm going to head over to sprites, right? And hmm, maybe a donut. I could do a coin. Actually, I'm going to go with a cheeseburger this time. It is humongous. Um, so let's go ahead. I'll resize mine. Boom. By the way, all of my assets I've created and I will post links in the description. You're certainly welcome to use them. So here's my cheeseburger. Now I'm gonna put it right over this post type of thing. Maybe when they get past the bad guy, they can earn themselves a cheeseburger. Okay, and then for, yeah, no, that's looking good. Um, I'm just gonna name it Rewer, uh, I'll name it Coin actually, because it's kind of a universal, universally understood what that is. Okay, Coin, and that is also looking good. Let me go ahead then and I'm gonna add a tag for this. Boop, so we know what it is. And I'm gonna call it coin and save. All right, so first off, what I want to be able to do is have this rotate. I want it to be interactive. It looks very strange if just a burger is floating there or a coin. You want it to spin, you want it to shine, just like they do in Mario. So. What I'm gonna do for that is we are gonna to need to add a script. We're also gonna need a collider for the character to be able to get it. So let me add a component to this and collider. Obviously I'll want a circle collider for mine. Bring that down, something like this. Good enough, great. I'm going to hit add component now and I'm going to call this coin script and create and add. So with that script added, let me go to assets, coin script, and I'm going to put it in scripts here. Double click on my scripts and coin script. Let me open it. There we are. So this actually is some super easy code. All we need is for it to spin at least is for something to go here within the update function. What I want to have happen is transform dot rotate zero comma zero comma zero point five. I'm thinking for a speed, and that is just the x axis, right? We're not having it. Uh, we're not. That's just the z axis. We're not having it move on the x axis or the y axis. Just the z axis to make the whole thing kind of spin for us. Let me shrink this down as well, and let's try it out. And there we go. So we have a circular uh, rotating hamburger. And again, you can control the speed to be whatever you wish. So now that I have that, I want the player to actually be able to, well, obtain that hamburger. So to do that, you're first gonna want to be able to keep track of it, a score, right? So let me go ahead and do create UI text. And it will automatically create a canvas, that's fine. Text, I'm just gonna label score text because I'm creative, okay? And let's go ahead and go to that. I like to always find my own fonts. So there's a ton of free ones. Here's an example. I just looked up the word burger earlier and I downloaded this. Notice it's 100% free to use. So I'm gonna use this cheeseburger font for mine. And you just drag it in just like you would a a new sprite image. So I've already added mine here. So what am I gonna have for my points? Well, zero to start. I'm gonna put three here just for testing purposes at first. And then let me pick my font. It's gonna be cheeseburger. Great. Font size, I don't know, 65. And then that's fine. Let's go ahead and make sure to have it overflow and overflow. Okay. And then color. For now, I'm just gonna do a really dark black color and I want to go ahead and switch up my canvas from constant pixel to scale with screen size. It's going to be more what we're looking for. Okay. And I might as well try to get this a bit better width and height. Let's do 80 for height. That's way too much. Okay. And then I'm going to have mine centered on this side and centered in the middle. So let me zoom out here. I'm going to double click on canvas. Yeah. Let's pull this up. Um, over, double click on score text. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. 
So let me get rid of these extra zeros here. All right, now we want the score to be changing when the player gets the coin. All right, so let me head back over here. What I'm gonna need now is to head to my player script. Now in my player script, I actually already have on collision stuff. So if you don't, you wanna add a private void on collision 2D collision, right? And this if is for my enemy. So we also though need an if for a coin. I'm gonna do an else if. You would do a standard if if you don't have an enemy. So else if collision dot collider dot tag. Okay, and this is why I wanted to tag my coin. And oops, I haven't actually coin because there's gonna be more than one coin. So I wanna be able to make sure that I can use a tag. So if tag is equal to coin, what do I wanna have happen? Well, a few things. Gotta have two equals. If it is equal to coin, what I'm gonna want to have happen is for, we want the coin to, well, disappear, right? To do that, I'm gonna go and say destroy collision dot game object. So it's gonna disappear on us, but that's not it. We also need to add, add to the score. So I'm gonna get the score text by making a public text, and this isn't gonna work at first because it's gonna add an alignment. What we have to do for text is just like using Unity Engine, we need a using Unity Engine dot UI. Okay, and now it will allow us to use text, public text, and I'm gonna call it score text because I'm not creative, okay? And so public text, score text. I should also have then a, let's go ahead and within the player, I guess, keep track of score. So int score is gonna be equal to zero. Uh, we'll make this private. Int score is equal to zero to start. Now, when I get a coin, I'm gonna destroy that coin. I'm gonna say score plus plus. That's the same thing though as saying score equals score plus one. Okay, we're gonna add one to the score, take whatever the score used to be equal to, add one to it. And then the final aspect of this is we need to use this, this score text. Making it public means it will pop up over here and I'll show you, but let's do score dot, I mean score text dot text and it's gonna be equal to, okay? It's gonna be equal to the score, but to string. Score dot to string. Okay, so we're gonna take our integer that's a score and set it to be a string and push it into the score text text. What score text text? Well, here's score text. Oh, look, here's the text of the score text. And that's how we're actually changing it. The one thing we've left off now, public text score. I need to go to the player and make sure I tell the player what the score text is. So let's head over to player. And let me see, I have so much stuff. Here we go, score text, score text, boom. Okay, and let's go ahead, I'm gonna save this and save this. All right, let's just check on a few things. So we got that, we got that. Um, let's make sure your coin, yep, tagged. So we created a tag, I'm gonna have it there now. Let me hit file, save. Let me make sure it stays there. Okay, so we have that tag. Let me go ahead and take a look at the whole scene here. I'm gonna hide a lot of this stuff. We don't need it for testing. So goodbye, orange enemy, and would post for now. And would post, okay. Let's go see if we got a working coin or burger or reward. Boom, I got a coin, ba-da! Perfect. And now you do too.